Friends Sachin Tilogdari and Ryan Ramnanan shared a brotherly bond that spanned 12 years. When they did not return home after going to a restaurant and bar in Port of Spain, Sachin's father, Bobby Tilogdari, says he got worried. I called Ryan's phone, I called his phone, and I called a guy phone. Well, yeah, Sachin and his phone went, went straight to voicemail. And I, um, when I called Ahmed, he did not answer. So I went to get up and I went looking for them. While searching for them, he said their friend called. He had passed them on the Solomon Ho Chai Highway near Gasparlo around 3.30 a.m. As the owner of several businesses, Tilak Dari feared they had been kidnapped. I thought it was kidnapping. As a business person in Trinidad right now, yeah, you have to be skeptical of that right now. I had a break in here about three months, two and a half months now. I thought that maybe would have been affiliated with it. Hours later, the Valance Rambarat led hunter search and rescue team found the wrecked vehicle with both bodies inside. Now, T. Lakdari said the van belonged to his son, but Ryan was the designated driver. Ryan's father is rejecting speculation that his son was under the influence of alcohol. They drink one or two little beers and things, but nothing to get drunk. Both fathers believe if these cable barriers at the site of the accident along the Solomon Ho Chai Highway were repaired, their sons may have been alive today. They need to fix them and maintain them. They need to. That helps. Yes, that saves lives. Yusuf Hussein agrees. Hussein survived a crash in 2012 when a two-ton truck crossed the median near Gasparlo and landed on top of his car. Since then, he has been lobbying for safety measures to be installed on the nation's highway. On numerous occasions, I have been informing the Minister of Works and Transport, Mr. Rohan Sinanan, about implementing the cables barrier on the nation highway to prevent the loss of lives and limbs of the citizen. However, he said that the cable barrier is not effective and he is going to implement the guardrail. In February, Minister in the Ministry of Works and Transport, Richie Sukai, indicated that they had already developed and were implementing a guardrail program to replace cable barriers. He noted that phase one of the project consists of three packages, two in the Kearney area and one in Victoria West, and are due to be completed by September and October. Attempts to reach Sukai and Minister Rohan Sinanan for an update were unsuccessful. Sasha Wilson, CNC3 News.